now. Okay, welcome everybody back to the Walker Classic. This is the second round of the cut, and we are greeted with uh, two players, Wendy and Matt. And I'm Carl Godwin, and I'm working with... Uh, my name is James Brannon, and uh, we're going to be commenting on this round, and they are fast and furious. They give the handshake. It's time. Oh, time started. That's right. Hey, we got every second. The last game went to time. Right. Well. I'd be on the move with my dice, too. Ouchies. Ouchies. Hopefully that's not a foreshadowing on Qui-Gon's part. Right? The double lengths. Ow. And which base did they decide to go with? Uh, the, mm. She chose her base. She chose her base. Obi-Wan's hut. Yep, and that hut is, allows a person to, as long as you're a Jedi, you get a shield, or you can pay one and get a shield if you're not a Jedi. Nice, nice. It's a good good card for her. Uh, early game four speed, she had a strong hand, and Matt's going to take a look at that hand. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with taking a peek. Oh, guard. Guards and, uh, and blocks, block. and that block is absolutely useless, actually. Yep, yep, I think Which he's going to let her have it. He could tell she could totally keep the block. He's more worried about that caution, giving three shields. That three shields could be a pain. Yeah, absolutely. So here's Cannon's roll in, which is lackluster at best. Yeah. But it's fine. In Matt's hand, he's got, I see a few guns in his hand. And he's burning his resources to load up the gun on ambush. Yep. Start the process early. <sighs> yep. Now, question is, who does he kill first? Is it Do we go after Cannon or do we go after Qui-Gon? I think Wendy's going to load up Kanan because I think the typical target is Qui-Gon, right? I agree. Uh, and so I guess that kind of, for me, it depends on... Because Qui-Gon's ability is cute, but it's not important. Well, I'll say this. For this deck in particular, there's a pattern. Like there I, it I is. was going to say that. There's a pattern where you're going to put the the lightsabers on Qui-Gon and Fearless on Qui-Gon, and then you're done with Qui-Gon. Everything else goes to Kanan. Absolutely. And the redeploy lightsaber on Qui-Gon on your open is fantastic. That definitely means that she's signaling that I'm expecting you to kill Qui-Gon, and I'm going to make Kanan last a long time with that lightsaber to come. So, Sienna gets a credit crunch and a plus two. Um, obviously, without any credits, it's not important. And that's the beauty of this deck, is that it runs with zero credits. The and, only thing that can. wants a credit is that lightsaber. And she got it. She got it early. Um, so Harley, uh, in chat, is voting for Rainbow Fives, or at least expecting Rainbow Five to win it again. Uh, I think I'm with uh, Big Russ, who's wanting Qui-Gon Qui uh, Kanan to take I'm it. in the camp of I would like to see Qui-Gon Qui Kanan take this, but I feel the the five the Rainbow Fives is going to just be too strong. I feel it's going to be able to overcome. Right. With I, the, good, the good open is in the hand of the Rainbow Fives. Apparently there was a misplay with that role that didn't belong. Okay. And, oh, she must be guarding away? There we go. She's guarding away two dice. Yeah. We we can't see her discard pile. She kind of played it in her discard pile. It's off the stream. Sorry for the delay, guys. Yep. There we Perfect. Go. Now we can see that guard. <laughs> uh, all right. So as far as openers, who do you think got the more solid opening? Oh, she definitely got the more solid opening. Having a lightsaber on your table along with your four speed on open right. versus just a... Uh, Pistol? Yeah. Yeah. Lackluster. I, we gotta see the burst into, uh, um, you know, uh, oh my Guns. gosh, uh, Balatik. We, we gotta see yeah. them burst down Balatik. I'm sorry, I'm good at the speaking thing. Uh, but she used so many of her good damaging cards to mitigate damage this turn, um, which is interesting. Uh, I think it's just about getting longevity out of it. Right, it, it definitely helps her get into the late, later game. I am surprised he pitched a reroll, but he rerolled into damage, so hey, roll. Three we'll damage. take that. Um, and yep, on the Qui Gon, Qui Gon's got to go. Yep. That lightsaber's gonna move. Ooh, and a hunker and a backup muscle. Yep, backup muscles of uh, Well, the, I'm gonna talk to our table monitor here. She, I believe she put damage on Qui-Gon, but she put it off screen. If, if she could move over that damage, that'd be great. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't, I, so player etiquette wise, I, I really hate when people kind of like put the damage, like six it just away from the card. Like, what is that? Is that in your discard pile or <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if we're really going to count that as damage. Okay, so where's her two resources? I guess they're off camera too right now. Uh, I, yeah, I guess those are off camera too. Um, 
Uh, okay. We know she's got her two resources. Yeah. And we're, she'll burn them in a matter of two seconds, because that's how that deck works anyway. Well, oh, she fearless. uses them right now she for fearless. fearless. Yep. Uh, so, Harley, I'm checking the chat. Uh, yes, I I understand. Um, and that's the thing, right? It's a close It's a close meta, you know? And if we're talking about what's the 5% better chance to win, yeah. But there's a lot of things that can win. So we're hoping that Wendy uh, kind of gives the upset here. Mm-hmm. Um, ooh. Yeah, ow. Ow. Ouch, See, ease. She's having the bad cannon day. This is where we saw cannon come out hot in the beginning of the of beginning of the game, and now he's just back to typical cannon where he doesn't provide what you need. There is only, uh, you know, that was one cannon die, four speed die. Um, I know that Matt runs um, uh, feel your anger in that deck, so we'll see. Or, yeah, yeah that's a one off. There's a chance he might have it in hand. She's got a lot of nice damage showing on the table right now, though. Mm -hmm. Off the lightsaber special and some dam um, two damage off a of Qui-Gon. Really, really got to burst down the... Um, Balotique as Balotique. fast as possible. And she's going to do that. She's going to re-roll into some damage here. Come on, go. Oh, four ah, speed special. That's fine. Take a four speed couple special. couple credit crunches. So she's going to use one of those actions to re-roll. Um, hoping for some more damage. No. Oh yeah, Balati. We we can't kill our Balati that easily. So yeah, you know. unfortunately, that Force Illusion is going to be a pretty significant problem. That bought Matt a lot of time. A lot of time, indeed. All right, so she's using she's activating specials in this movement. Mm -hmm. She's going to grab two rounds and do two unblockable damage to Balati. With the first part of that, I'm assuming it's going to be a pitch a card and reroll. Don't you see? I see that as the only. Oh, first part is do two more damage. Okay. Now, if isn't two damage enough to use that force illusion? Do you think that was a misplay? No, I don't think he needs it right now. I think the force illusion. You know, he's still got five hit points left, right? The force illusion, and uh, oh, see, Matt's got a tactical mastery in his hand. So, um, I, I think that Force Illusion... Oh my gosh, Sienna is just on point. <laughs> Another three damage from Sienna. I can't believe how much work Sienna's putting in today. And then she does resolve the Credit Disrupt to try and mitigate that. Qui-Gon takes another three. I don't think Qui-Gon will see the end of the next round. No, I don't think so either. Which is a problem. Because really it gives him another yeah, turn much. to get set up. Well, he got a shield. That'll help. Night Sister with a credit disrupt there. And that's a useless roll. But it doesn't matter because Balati's going to change that to two damage. No, he's going to discard a reroll. Which huh? is fine with me. There, oh, we there go. you go. Three damage. He rolled wow. three damage out of it. Hey? Matt, Matt is rolling on fire. Which the reason why he rolled on fire is because she claimed. Yeah, he, he knows that he can just kind of do whatever he wants. And he even muscled into that nine. Ah, Qui-Gon's all but dead. Yeah, so we're going to be seeing a double activation next round for Bala. That gives Matt another turn to get another mm -hmm. gun on Bala. But Sienna, six damage in two turns from Sienna. That's that's not normal. <laughs> not at all. That she's, Sienna's on fire. She's in the deck to make money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she's apparently not here to make money today. No, that CN is here to do work. And Matt draws a really nice hand yeah, of a doubt along with that Intimidate. Intimidate, I, I feel like Intimidate is only coming to the new meta, this new world of we're going to have shields and everything, so i got to have an Intimidate to be ready for him. Yeah, you know, maybe it's like a one-of, like splash one-of. It is for him. It is a splash one-of in his deck. Yeah. You know, but it's it's... Zero cost for effectively three damage, right? Yeah. So here we see him play the Tactical Mastery. Activating. Oh, Serene. What is her name? I'm saying it wrong. Oh, my God. God. What? 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 Three damage again? That's three turns in a row. She's rolled out three damage. That is an, that is that my friends is what Star Wars Destiny is all about. Oh my god! This is god. definitely a luck dice game, and we just witnessed Matt Wood's luck today, as C C Sienna Ray decides, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna go kill Qui Gon myself. 
Right. Uh, doesn't even get to trigger the ball of teak mm-hmm. because uh, he couldn't afford her to spend time mitigating it, you know, so he just went ahead and resolved. And uh, oh my God. And, wow. and then Cannon, Cannon rolls up guns. Cannon rolls up the two guns there. Uh, I think Cannon forgot he was a Jedi. Yeah, Big Russ. Um, so we we can see the writing on the wall. Uh, now, maybe Matt's luck will turn for the worst. Uh, maybe he, uh, yeah, he, he, he failed to get the ball to reset because it was better just to get the kill out before any mitigation happened. But uh, we're looking, I think, at the end, unfortunately. Yeah, I think this game's all but over. We're hoping that um, Cannon can pull out something to at least show a good show before he walks out the door. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. This is something on my mind. But, um, you know, the chess shake where, where uh, after a chess match when you know it's over because you're so many moves ahead and you just kind of tilt your king and say, good game. You know, as a sign of respect. The, well... So, I'm not saying she does it here, but I, I know that in my personal games, I would favor the handshake over uh, playing out the last row minutes of the game and you know spending another 20 minutes trying to do whatever. But I can I can agree with that. But in this instance, believe it or not, she is still in this game. I granted all she has is cannon. She has a two die cannon and a lightsaber. But that is more than enough because this is a dice game. It is a dice game. I play this game to the bitter end every single time because I have pulled out so many games that had no business with me winning them. Uh, sorry, Gambler, you were asking who the red character is doing all that damage. It's... Sienna Ray. Sienna Ray. Uh, she has two resource sides. She has that vehicle shenanigans, but she hasn't done any of that. She's just rolling out guns. Uh, and but of course Matt's luck continues. His night sister rolls the two. <laughs> <laughs> so because you know, because things. Because all his characters shoot today. Yeah. I feel unfortunate. To be perfectly honest, I feel unfortunate for Matt because if you're rolling this lucky right now, <laughs> that means you're not getting nothing for the final. <laughs> right, right. Matt's gonna sing very easily win this game with his luck rolls, but then his dice are going to go cold on him very quickly. Oh, and there we go. Oh, using the cannon ability to focus the yep. die as she resolves for melee. So, good call. And there goes that three damage, and leaving her still with uh, the, probably another two damage. I uh, apparently I don't know if you guys can't hear me, but I'm I'm in the mic at this point. Okay, uh, so. <clears throat> Yeah, looking at oh, the chat. Oh, jeez. Look at that re-roll. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Because, <laughs> you know, Matt needs more guns. That's all there is somebody, to it. Somebody call the cops. This is getting <laughs> offensive. <laughs> I agree. Watching all those guns roll up. It's like, get in the van. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the, the downside of Rainbow Fives is there's not a lot of... Uh, not a, Yeah, we, we saw him just play the doubt. Uh, absolutely. Um, there's There's... There's not a lot of consistency in the Rainbow Five stack. It's a lot of dice to kind of get you some consistency, but what we're seeing here today is just amazing, God amazing roll consistency. God roll. And where he's intimidating away one shield, you it's, could tell that, that that's when you have it. When you when you have that level of nonchalant care, that you're like, instead of waiting for you to get three shields, I'm just going to intimidate away one shield. So yeah, I can get in my three damage. It, it's still unblock. a one damage. She claims she's just riding this out like the pro she is. Um, I think she's going to at least take out Bala. I think Bala's going to walk off this table before she, before the game is over. Now, do I believe that Cannon will go nuts and be able to kill Bala, kill the Night Sister, and kill Sienna Ray? With four hit no. points left? No. I think no. Sienna Ray is going to put a bullet in him right after he, she kills Bala. Right, and uh, unfortunately, I think with Matt's rolls, you know, he, he if he rolls hot on that ball of die, he only got to do four more damage. All right, so we didn't get the four speed special. That's unfortunate. We got a couple shields, though. And I think those shields are about to be very relevant because she seems like she has two shields on her. Oh, no, those are two resources. Yeah, those are the, uh, are those the broken egg games resource tokens? I guess so. Oh, flanking away the two damage to keep himself safe. That's very a very good play. Now, would you burn those both for the two shields? 
Or would you try to reroll that da that um, lightsaber into damage? See, that's the thing. You can't. I don't think she can afford the tempo hit to to reroll those shields. She or she needs to reroll those shields. She can't take those shields. Uh, Matt's deck can easily put out six damage comfortably in a round, which is two shields plus four health that she's got, and we're just moving on. So that flank uh, was so backbreaking. Yeah, uh, somebody. So she's just taking the shield. She's just trying to get out of this with some dignity. Before the guns come. Before the guns come. <laughs> Matt, Matt's, uh, Matt's got some logistics in his hands, and I didn't see the third card, but all his mitigation is gone, um, so he might take a little bit of damage, but... Is it all gone? Well, from his hand. Oh, okay. Uh, I saw like... two logistics in a... I couldn't see the last one. Matt, Matt is getting very excited. Sienna Ray finally did not roll damage, people. Right. This just in, Sienna Ray, not a damage dealing character for this one turn. And a lot of blanks. So he's obviously going to pitch a card and reroll that mess. Wendy's saying that Matt should have bought her lunch before this meeting. <laughs> we, uh, we agree. We <laughs> both agree. Uh, I, I think Wendy has done a good job of trying to do well for it and as you see great play on her behalf she, you know she she kept the force misdirection to use the blue die to get rid of some range damage oh that was beautiful well played, now Wendy. do we think force misdirection belongs in that deck though or is that just a one-off chance would you rather have that force misdirection or a block yeah, that, well, for that that's, slot that's a tough call i guess with two canaan dice maybe the force misdirection i'm sorry dodge 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 uh, dodge is the most relevant card in this format right now yeah we've seen a lot of guns today you know um what was the... Yeah, because there's there's dodge, and then there's... Block is the other one, which is I've seen today. We've seen block, which is for lightsabers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there's the new one, where it's like uh, spend one to take away one range. Oh, down. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like from the newest set. I, I haven't played it, but given how many guns we're seeing today, I'm wondering if it might... If it merits a spot now. <laughs> <laughs> if it merits a spot. Just for the one more ranged mitigation. Yeah, it's, a, it's one of the grays. Yeah, it should have been a gray neutral, which would put it... Mm -hmm. Maybe it wasn't from this set. Maybe it was from the last set. I don't remember. Alright, so we're into the new round. Possibly the last round. Our chat's gone quiet. I think they see the future. I think the writing's on the wall here. Short of a miracle, so Matt's am got ambush, that. ambush action, spend two for another gun. It's from the second set. Yeah, it's a vade. And it was a vade. So you didn't notice, but uh, while you're looking for the card, Matt would ambush, hold that blaster, ambush action, another hold that blaster, what have you, and then he's just rolling that in. Rolled in a whole bunch of dice, because, you know, oh. here's dice. Don't worry, folks. I'll... I'll on the on the way home, I'll make sure Matt feels bad for this. All right, we got the four speed special, um, some melee damage showing. He's got it four right there, which should be enough to close out the game. Uh, so oh, that's just one. He, he so that's, that's a one, and that's a two for one. But he doesn't have any money, I don't think. So he's only got three. Well, I uh, will put my three out there. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Shoot the three. Yeah, so... Now, on her turn, I would do... If I were you, I'd kill Bala, right? We just two damage Bala, take two... <gasps> take two turns? Right, she's definitely gotten out of this turn a little bit. But he only has one hit point. So, right. let's see. Action one, force speed. Action one, she's going to... Discard to reroll. It didn't get much better for her. Not or enough. Really she was hoping for damage. All. Yeah, she was. Action two, resolve, kill Bala. So this is the dilemma, right? He had all that redeploy on Bala. So what he's done is extra usage out of those guns. He still got Bala to go twice. Essentially, yeah. And Sienna's going to roll the damage herself, people. Like I said, Sienna um, just wants to roll a damage or Sienna, something. Sienna rolling uh, plus two, plus two again. Wow. But she needs some night sister love. Yeah. And, and there isn't a damage left on that. I don't think there is. On the I'm, backup I'm sure you would have tapped that muscle and finished Right, I think that would have been the action. 
Sir Toastalot says force misdirection all day. Kanan's dice is uh, tailor made for it. Yep, I, I agree with okay. you. Um, toast. Sir Toast a lot. That Kanan gets force misdirection. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's just the meta, though. Here we see the handshake. Matt Wood, Victor, Rainbow Nines, Wendy. Uh, she fought hard. But she gave it a good fight. Boy, Sienna was just murdering people. I've never seen a Sienna come out the gate like that ever. Nine damage. Yeah. Like, 